All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead video to start, or at least sort of half Walking Dead video about the Walking Dead season ten. Uh, finishing up with filming, and then we'll get into the future. We'll talk about the channel a little bit here, and possibly sunsetting Trev's Chan two when the Walking Dead main series ends. All right, so here we have our picture of Norman Reedus and Melissa McBride after they've just uh, finished filming uh, The Walking Dead Season 10. So it sounds like they have finally uh, wrapped up and finished this season. It's finally done. Uh, wow, you know, sometimes I forget. I guess they started, what is it, about May or June, and then they go through up until now. So we can't forget that each season that they do, uh, I mean, you know, probably over half the year, they're, uh, you know, they're working hard, they're doing this stuff for us, uh, so we can get these awesome episodes. And this one's pretty cool here. It looks like maybe Carol's got some kind of new uh, scar there. I'm not sure. Of course, Daryl has his that, uh, <laughs> that we're used to. Um, uh, but man, excited to see the second half of the season. We have just the one last episode left uh, for the first half of The Walking Dead Season 10. And then, uh, of course, it'll return probably in early February, most likely a couple months off here this year. Uh, so, you know, lots of time for us to check out maybe some, some other stuff in the meantime. But uh, certainly feeling a, a bit of a void once uh, this, this half ends. Uh, you know, can't wait to see it return in the uh, the second half. But just cool to kind of see the two of them still. Uh, and what the hell is going to happen when they're done, man? <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, look at this picture and just ask yourself, can this series survive without these two? Uh, you know, I don't know. There's so many, so many blows already. I don't, I don't know. I guess we'll, I guess we'll, uh, we'll have to see if we get closer to the date. But uh, big bald head, uh, Norman Reedus posted it, so uh, kind of fun. Just thought I'd share that one with you guys first. So to continue along with the rest, I have lots of comments uh, from you guys from this week. Obviously, there's been lots of discussion after there was the uh, the new report uh, possibly leaked uh, from inside AMC. If it's true, if not, then you know, then maybe not, maybe totally nonsense. But uh, that the they are. Are considering ending The Walking Dead at the end of season 12 from the sounds of things, or at least it says the current thinking at AMC is that. So about two and a half years left until you know Norman Reedus and Melissa McBride are finished, most likely, and we'll have to see after that how things go. Maybe it's totally unsubstantiated. There's nothing to it, uh, but you know we're. I, I feel like. I, even if it's not true, I feel like we're starting to get closer to that point anyway. And with the audience for The Walking Dead kind of reducing a bit each year, you know, in three or four years anyway, this is a good discussion for us to have on, you know, what we're thinking and uh, and whether or not, uh, you know, we're going to kind of kind of continue with this. And to let you guys know as well, too, if you look at other categories surrounding Walking Dead, such as Walking Dead merchandise, Walking Dead video games, uh, Walker Stalker Con, uh, all these different things that kind of go with The Walking Dead. You know, years ago you would have like tons of action figures coming out, tons of different posters or whatever else coming out, lots of merchandise, t-shirts and all kinds of stuff. Uh, you would see them at, at places like Walmart and stuff like this. And nowadays you don't really see that. I don't think McFarland Toys is producing any figures or collectibles for Walking Dead at all anymore. Uh, I guess maybe they were just, uh, you know, just hanging around at stores. Nobody was buying them. So, uh, you know, things get hot, and then afterwards, uh, not. They eventually, uh, you know, do dwindle out. But I think it's a success that we're still able to do this together, guys, and there's still enough of you guys, kind of a hardcore fan base, that wants to do this that we can continue on. So here's some of the stuff that we've been going through this week, some additional kind of comments, and then I'll give I'll give you guys some more extended uh, kind of thoughts here on, on you know, what we're going to do once, you know, we get closer to that date and whether or not the channel's going to continue what we're going to do i'll give you my current thinking right now so hunter snow says i'll take a judith spinoff though and i and I actually i think that could be a good idea right if they have to end the original series and then they they launch some other kind of futuristic uh walking dead judith story of her being grown up way in the future even if it's like one season or it's like a couple seasons or something they give it a try and see how they can do with it uh so you replace carl in the ending of the walking dead with judith as a grown-up Maybe she has her own family, that kind of thing. And it's way in the future um, to where you could do maybe some kind of different, interesting stuff because it's a it's a huge time skip, like maybe 20 years ahead or something like that. 
after uh, season 12, if it does in fact end in season 12 or 13, or whenever that fateful day unfortunately does come up for us kind of hardcore Walking fans that are still here. Uh, Manu Chow says, I hope it's not true. The Walking Dead is my favorite series of all time. Uh, mine too, man. Absolutely mine too. And, uh, you know, it's it's something that was really unexpected. The comics ending the way they did, it just, you know, it, it, uh, it changed a lot of things more than I thought it would. And uh, if even the Walking Dead TV series is going to end at that point, that's a pretty big change because we were led to believe it was probably going to continue on many, many years after that and just kind of be a mainstay. And maybe that's not going to happen. Maybe that's not the case. So we'll we'll see if it's true or not. And um, even if it, it isn't, some of the stuff we're going to talk about here uh, pretty soon uh, makes sense. Uh, Olga Ramos said, uh, The Walking Dead uh, does seem like it's winding down, but... Maybe we'll get some more uh, crossovers into Fear. That would be great. And uh, then she does say that she loves Fear. She says, Fear is love, uh, Fear is life. So it sounds like, you know, Fear does have, you know, a good number of fans. I know it gets it gets a lot of heat a lot of the time. It gets a lot of hate on it. But it does have its own fans. Uh, as I've said many times to you guys, I love the first half of Season 5. I thought it was great. And uh, so there are certain parts of it. The first half of Season 4, for example, amazing. Season 3, amazing all the way through. Season 2, good. And Season 1, not a bad start. I think it was a decent start for Fear. An okay start anyway. Um, so I appreciate it. I, I really enjoy Fear, and I hope it does continue on. Uh, I guess even if the Walking Dead series ends, uh, I would still watch Fear and maybe do reviews uh, for it with you guys still uh, whenever it's on during the summer, if I get time, if you guys are still there and you still want to. And that's going to be the big question. But with the comics ending, I think having these extra series is actually good. It gives us something to look forward to during the summer. And... Um, you know, as hardcore Walking Dead fans, it, uh, it makes sense. So uh, Hacksaw said, oh, no, Trav is going to ride off into the sunset. So that's kind of the second sort of key part to this video that I wanted to do with you guys. Uh, and uh, I did want to thank anybody who, uh, I think there was about five or six people who signed up for Patreon yesterday to help out the channel. I'll put the link to the Patreon in the uh, description below. Uh, all I'm really asking for people is if they want to do it, uh, you can sign up to be a walker, which is just $1 a month. Uh, and that's all I'm asking. You know, I'm not asking people to do like five, 10, 20, $30 a month, anything crazy like that. I'm asking for if people want to see the channel continue for more years to come, you can sign up for it. Maybe it takes five or 10 minutes. You can sign up for Patreon. It's safe. It's secure. You don't have to worry about that there's millions of people who use it and you could sign up to be a walker for one dollar a month if you want to join the patreon uh herd and i would appreciate it because you know with with it kind of dwindling down you know you're not getting that same kind of uh attention for the videos and traffic and that kind of stuff and then also youtube has become very difficult to do they have not done a very good job in the last few years of keeping up with um you know, the amount of people who are doing it and the, and the ads have been absolutely horrendous now for a couple years. I just keep doing it because I love to do it with you guys. But certainly, you know, sometimes it, it, it leaves a lot to be desired in the, in the uh, uh, income department. But, uh, you know, if you guys if you guys can, if you, if you want to, I'll probably keep promoting it in the future and, and try to. You can sign up for the Patreon. Just a dollar a month. It's less than a chocolate bar nowadays. Uh, and if enough people did that, I could pretty much guarantee that I'd be able to continue on. But I don't know right now, right? I mean, if the series has a few years left or a couple years left, if I put about 10 to 15 hours a week into the videos with you guys, um, you know, as much as I love to do and I want to do and everything, uh, worst case scenario, I might have to kind of shut that off and just do like one review a week. And that's the only video I do for the whole week. Just, just the review for each episode. And that's it. No predictions videos, no trailer breakdowns, no discussion topics, nothing like that. Just a review, and that's all. You know what I mean? For for Walking Dead, and that's it. So, I but I love to do these videos with you guys. So I don't really want to do that. Um, but uh, Hacksaw might be right. You know, we'll have to kind of see how things go here. I mean, 13 years, 14 years of doing this with you guys, I think is fantastic. If I have to kind of wrap it up at that point. Or if I have to try to find other series to to follow and kind of get into. The thing is, is I don't like to fake it and I'm not a fake person. If I watch something, like I watched Watchmen, the uh, premiere episode, I just didn't like it. And I, and I love Watchmen, the comics. But I tried the series and I was like, should I do a review for this? I watched the premiere and I was like, I don't like this at all. You know what I mean? I just don't like it. So, you know, for me to produce a lot of content on something... I, I can't fake it. I've got to actually really love it. I've got to actually really enjoy it. And there's only a few things like that. It's hard to find series and, and movies and things like that that you really love, you really feel passionate about to where you're going to want to 
you know, do that. And that's that's kind of uh, how I feel about The Walking Dead. I love it, you know, very much. At one time, I loved Game of Thrones <laughs> very much. So, you know, so it's easy to do it when it's that kind of stuff. It's harder to do it when it's, like, hard to find stuff that you're really passionate about. And like I said, you can't really fake it or just say, well, I'm just going to do this, even though I don't feel any drive or, or motivation to want to do it. So... We'll see how things go in the next few years, guys. I hope we get a season 13. That'd be at least another another year to do this with you guys because I really do love doing this with you guys. It's not, uh, you know, it's no no joke or anything like that. 100% sincerely, I love doing this with you guys. If I could, I'd do it for the rest of my life, you know, every year, you know, uh, for whatever series are hot at the time, be it Walking Dead or other stuff that I find. If there's anything I enjoyed even half as much as it, um, you know, then, then I would, and I'd love to do it with you guys. But the fact of the matter is, as well, too, is that we do all have bills to pay. So if it's if it doesn't make sense anymore, you know, I might have to do something else with my time, such as maybe get a second job or switch day jobs, get a different day job, or you know, uh, try to move up, or uh, I don't know, buy like maybe buy a, a rental property or something and try to be a landlord or something like that. You know, some of these other kind of entrepreneurial ideas that I have that uh, you know that it could work. It's not something I really want to do, managing tenants and doing all that stuff. Everybody hates their landlord, you know what I mean? But you know, I mean, as I get older and stuff, it's like, okay, maybe I have to do that and do that instead of doing the channel afterwards and just kind of see how that goes by duplex or something like that. I don't know. These are some different ideas I've had that I might, uh, it makes sense, like, you know, in terms of numbers, it's like, yeah, I probably should do it, but I don't really want to. You know, I, lo- I love doing this with you guys. I don't want to do that and, you know, fix fix toilets and stuff like this or whatever. <laughs> it's going to break or whatever people are going to do. It's not really, you know, it's like, it's like Walking Dead and awesome zombies and all this stuff. Or, you know, I don't know. People, you know, every few years, tenants smash the place and deal with all this crap and do whatever. Most of the time, it's probably fine. You know, I know. But um, I don't know. So at least uh, for, for Hacksaw, you know, I got to keep it in perspective, right? If people don't really want to do it anymore or if even AMC has to end the series because there isn't the demand that there used to be and not enough people are watching it to where it makes sense for them to do it anymore, then, you know, that'll be a sad day for me, um, you know, and for you guys as well, too. I know that. So here's what I'm basically going to commit to you uh, for Hacksaw. I'm going to try to do everything I can to keep the channel going with you guys and to keep going. YouTube isn't always on board with that. They're not always like, okay, we're going to we're going to make sure this is taken care of and, and we're going to make sure that everything's fine. No, they're not. They're not like that. They're more like, well, we have, you know, I don't know, a million producers now or whatever, people who make videos. So that's the deal, right? If you guys want to help out, watching the videos helps, subscribing helps, and I appreciate all you guys who do that. And then Patreon, like I said, a dollar a month is all I'd be asking for for that. If you want to, but it's, I'll leave it up to you guys with that. This is what it is, you know, it is whatever. See how it goes in a few years. Uh, if enough people are willing to support the channel, I could guarantee, I could guarantee that I'll do it going forward, and that I put the 15 hours a week or whatever it takes uh, in into it to make it happen for you guys. But otherwise, you know, I, I may not have any choice. Eventually, I might have to. And if the original Walking Dead series ends, that's the biggest, that's the biggest concentration for the channel. And Game of Thrones has ended. The comics have ended. You know, it's like all these things that the channel focuses on pretty quickly in a couple of years here are all kind of wrapping up or finishing. It's like, damn, man, uh, maybe I haven't done a good enough job of finding new stuff to add on and do. Um, and so I, I, I'm not, uh, you know, again, scrutiny here or, or I'm not, I have to be open to, uh, you know, I do reviews of shows and give my thoughts on what maybe they could do better. I probably could have with, with this show here with you guys, I probably could have done a better job of finding other stuff to do uh, outside of you know Walking Dead and, and other other series that maybe could be uh, pretty popular and cover other stuff, so maybe I haven't done a good enough job of that. But do keep in mind too that you know I'm working a full full time schedule, 42 hours plus doing this on top of that. It gets me close to about 60 or at least 55 a week every week, pretty much all year, you know, except for when I'm on a few weeks vacation from work. Um, and that's just what it is. So I hope I don't have to sunset it, uh, hacksaw, but. You know, eventually the market gets what the market wants. If there's no demand there and I can't kind of figure out what I'm going to do for it, then, you know, you don't have much of a choice. You have to kind of move on to to do other things. So I hope that won't happen. I hope that's not the case. And I'm going to fight tooth and nail and try to do whatever I can to keep the channel going because I love doing it with you guys so much. If you want to help me out, that's how you can do it. You know how. And uh, it's uh, it's just what it is. So uh, Cap Sorty says, I feel sad when you say, uh, or when, <laughs> when you say it's only one episode left for this half, right? So we won't see you till next year, Trev. Um, 
uh, as well. I know you'll still be uploading, but still, well, for reviews, right? So for so I understand that um, that a lot of people they watch the reviews and maybe they don't watch a lot of these other videos like this one here. But um, you know, I mean, I'll try to be producing for you guys. Right, I'll keep trying. Now they won't all be Walking Dead. Maybe a few videos a week, Walking Dead for whatever's going on, uh, and there's if there's stuff to talk about. But uh, I'll have to try to find other shows and other things to review. And I'm going to. It's just that um, you know, it's it's a bit of getting out of the comfort zone. It's a bit of of doing some different stuff and trying to find stuff that I'm kind of more passionate about uh, without trying to, to fake it because I don't I don't believe in faking it I think if you you know if you really like something you're really into it okay you can you can put the commitment into it but if you don't and you're just trying to you know you're just doing something that's like eh, it's uh, you know it's 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 usually not going to work in my opinion you really do have to feel passionate for me to drive myself to, to want to do a lot of videos on something otherwise it's like you know just doing it for nothing uh, planet or plant planet uh, earth says as long as it doesn't uh, create a lame game of thrones ending right um <laughs> so when they ended the other season 12 it's absolutely true man there you know this year has been so brutal for me man and even like other series like z nation ending and gotham ending and then um, the comic ending and Game of Thrones. The big thing with Game of Thrones is they're they're going to do the spinoffs, right? At least some of the spinoffs are going to get done. One of them was canceled, um, but that's another thing about what happened with Game of Thrones was the ending was so bad. So many people got so angry that they just literally the Game of Thrones ending was dumpster fire. They just they just they just hot garbage dumpster fired the ending of Game of Thrones, and they took a huge risk in it backfired completely and everybody got so pissed off and everyone was like why did you go to this ending as an ending for game of thrones it's it's horrendous it just didn't work there was so much backlash even when i do videos for game of thrones now see that's another thing i didn't expect because i thought well maybe we could continue with game of thrones stuff in the future but probably not <laughs> i mean people are done with it they don't want anything to do with it you know when i upload videos in game of thrones Half the comments are like, Trev, why are you even doing this? We, you know, we're done with it. You know, we, we saw the end of the series. We don't care about any prequels or, or any other spinoffs. There, are, there is a, an audience there that does. There's a certain audience there that does. But at least half of what Game of Thrones had, they just lit it on fire. They just absolutely... See, that's another thing you could have never predicted, that they would just, they would just blow it up like that. I mean, nuke it from orbit like that. Like, the fan base of Game of Thrones was just... In, in like one season was was just nuked man and and just to the point now where it's like you know it just about has there's just about no point in me hardly covering you know like I was even looking for some of the the, the spinoffs and stuff and then they canceled one and it's like you know what would be the point of even you know doing anything for it I don't know well maybe I'll try because like I said I don't give up easy but that fan base is so jaded right now it's it's unbelievable man I don't I I don't I, they're probably too far gone I don't think you can bring those fans back I think they're done I think they're just like you know what that's it man I'm done almost anything else that they could have done even if they had to run it for a couple more years or whatever they want to do Almost any other option would have been better than what they did do. It's just, uh, oh, man. So next one is from Kathy Katz, who says, I wonder if the comics ending have something to do with the lawsuits. I find myself reminiscing about old characters and a few what-ifs. Uh, so few of the old really good ones would The Walking Dead uh, be good without the source material and characters. So uh, I think without the source material, you get something probably like fear. That, that's kind of what is it is without the source material, which uh, I like it. I think it's been been good. It's probably my second favorite series on right now. So, uh, But I know a lot of people don't feel the same way as I do about it, so that's fine. Um, but, uh, you know, do I think the lawsuits played a role in the Walking Dead comics ending? You'd have to ask Kirkman to find out for sure, uh, but he'll probably lie to you, <laughs> or at least whatever he says to you, you can't really listen to it, because he lost all credibility when he told us, you know, maybe like 200 or three, issue 300, he could do all these issues, and he led us to believe that, and then he kept it totally under wraps until the very last one, and then he thought it was great after. It's like, you know, you just lied to fans like crazy, you know, or, or at least you kept them in the dark uh, and not in the know. So you, when someone does that, you know, they want to talk jaded, right? Like the Game of Thrones fan being jaded. Well, I think Walking Dead comic fans felt jaded as well, too, because they weren't told ahead of time that so they could prepare themselves. So, well, he got the last laugh. It's what he wanted. So there it is. But, um, okay, this was one of the ideas that I had that I thought made sense for you, Kathy. The AMC 
gets to, I believe, incorporate or collapse everything Walking Dead into them. So if he produces a Walking Dead 2 comic book series or a Walking Dead spin-off series, I am of the belief it gets collapsed into AMC without, I don't know about royalties, but I don't think he can sell it to any anybody or anything like that. I think it gets automatically uh, collapsed into AMC with the, the Walking Dead master license that they have. Uh, or at least the legality would make it so that if he makes a spinoff of Walking Dead in comics or he does something else with Walking Dead in comics, I think AMC is going to get that pretty much no matter what it is without without even having to pay for it, probably. They can just use it if they want to. So it's possible there, too, that maybe because of that, he wasn't interested in doing any other kind of spinoffs or Walking Dead 2 or anything like that because if he did, it would get collapsed into the network already and he wouldn't really be able to sell it to anybody or anything. Whereas with, like, for example, Invincible, which has been picked up for a movie, I think, and also for, I think it's an Amazon series, Stephen Yoon, who played Glenn, is actually doing the lead uh, voice for Invincible, which is going to be cool. I'm excited for that, and I don't hate Kirkman or anything like that. I, you know, he created The Walking Dead for us, so he's amazing and everything. I'm just kind of kidding around here, just to be to be honest with you. But I do think that bec- that that's a possibility for why he might have wanted to kind of wrap the comics is because... You know, in terms of like getting a big license deal or something like that with a network or something like that, if he creates other properties such as Oblivion Song and other series like that, he could effectively sell those to Universal or a different network or HBO or AMC or wherever. Like if somebody wanted to do a TV series of another comic he does or something like that, he could effectively take that and sell it to them and get a, a really good deal from that and it could be really good for him. But with Walking Dead, it's all right into AMC already. It's already kind of owned by them. So, you know, does that have something to do with it? Again, you'd have to ask him. Uh, or maybe he just did the story he wanted to do. He's had enough of it. And uh, Charlie Adler had had enough of it. So they just wrapped it and decided that's it. Rather than expanding it and doing, getting other artists and maybe other writers to do something under the, that name, he just decided to keep it, keep it under, not saturated, uh, not oversaturated, keep it to the main series that's it basically except for alien and maybe some of the other here's negan stuff that they did just a little bit and kind of keep it clean like that and have it be that and then people can buy in the future too and you don't tarnish the name you don't uh, you don't uh, oversaturate it and that's what happens so that's the way things went that's how it goes i'll still i'll still hope for someday maybe to see some other kind of walking dead comic series but who knows maybe we'll never see that and if we never do I would suspect that that might have something to do with it. Personally, I would, um, but you'd have to you'd have to ask him personally for more details, and we'll see if he ever decides he wants to do something else with The Walking Dead. I hope one day he would want to. Right, so Unbreakable last one says ideally have them merge into the movies. So loose ends make my ass itch. So uh, if he wants, so he's saying if people leave Daryl and Carol or whoever, he'd like to see them go into the movies, or he'd like to see something like that. So. Uh, there's some more kind of responses or kind of thoughts after that uh, that news, uh, possibly about The Walking Dead maybe ending uh, season 12 again. Don't know if it's confirmed or not. It could be bunk. But I'll tell you guys this, that when uh, the news about um, Rick leaving came out, this is what it was like first. It was like it kind of came out with, uh, I think it was Collider who broke it. And people, you know, Collider's maybe more reputable than uh, we got this covered. But... At the same time, it was the same kind of thing. It kind of came out, and you know, people were like, that's bullshit. There's no way Rick's leaving. There's no way Andrew Lincoln's leaving. And then, of course, it turned out to be true. And uh, But that's what it was. At first, it came out in, this, in the report like that, same kind of deal, and everybody shot it down and thought, there's no way in hell that could ever possibly be true. And it turned out to be exactly true. So... Yeah, we'll see what happens, man. But uh, that that gives you guys some understanding of the future for the channel and and what we'll do when The Walking Dead ends is basically I'll fight tooth and nail to keep it going for you guys. I'll do whatever pretty much I have to do, try my very best for you guys. But after a couple years after that, if it's just floundering or it's just not working, then, uh, yeah, uh, you know, may not have any choice but to kind of uh, eventually sort of move away from doing it and start to do some other stuff in my life instead. So I hope that's not the case, but you guys want me to be honest with you, so there's the honesty. We'll have to see how it goes, but I can commit to at least a few more years to see it through until the Walking Dead series uh, actually does you know, fully end, which, uh, which eventually will be kind of a, a sad day for us, I know. 
That'll be it for the video, guys. If you liked it, thumb it up below. Check out the Patreon. Think about it, guys. You know, if, if you want to, think about it. I ain't going to try to force anybody, but, you know, like I said, it's a dollar a month, less than a can of pop or less than a chocolate bar. If you want to see the channel continue, that's how you can help support it. And I'll see you guys back again for another video. As always, this is Trev. Same peace later, guys. See you soon.